All right, what is that? I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? Do you think it's them? But no. I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Got it. Uh, what's that? Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. Or maybe they're leaving me an entire creature, piece by piece. Could be. Alright, so that must be where they are. Actually, I'm going to turn up the volume a little bit. Let's see how good that is. Okay, I'm blind now. The frick, why does it look so fuzzy? What happened? Resume. What happened? No, it looks so weird. Okay, this looks really messed up. Um... Okay, this is not good. Let's look up to the sun. Maybe that'll fix it. Am I going the right way? Southwest. Hey. Oh. Sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it and... Yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. <laughs> Trust me, I know how it is. So, did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. Wait, I don't mean that the way it sounds. I mean, I care about people, and I like companionship as much as the next person. But why does it have to come from the same person for your whole life? My Aunt Kathy was married to the same guy for four decades, and when he died, she found out he'd been having an affair with a real estate broker for 15 years. Whereas my Aunt Judy traveled the world dating artists and musicians as she saw fit. Call me crazy, but I'd rather spend a week in bed with Sonny Bono than half a lifetime with some cheating stockbroker. I'm actually married. But you're here. Everything's fine, just, you know, we're taking some time apart, getting some fresh air. A little change. Yeah. All right, well, we can just leave it at that. Thanks. Okay, can I... Oh my gosh, this is visually annoying. One change after I rappel down. Just I had a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Hey, flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before... I bounce your face off a dumpster. It's beautiful. Wow, I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Wow, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. Oh. Oh yeah, I was going to try and fix it. Hold on, okay. Um, can I save it? Oh, oh, there we go. That's better. Okay, cool. Okay, it's all solved. Excellent. All right. Am I going back to my tower? I don't really want to. Not really. 
I need to go southwest. Oh man. Okay, I have no idea where the frick I am. Oh, I think I'm going the right way now. Yeah, here we go. Just so you know, I didn't mean to overstep my bounds earlier when you brought up your wife. I know you didn't. You were just making conversation. I appreciate it. So, tell me about her, if you want. Hmm. She's actually very sick. I shouldn't be here. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Okay. I'm down by Cripple Gulch. You ready to give it another shot? Do I seriously have to? To get down to Five Mile Creek? Yeah, afraid so. It's quite a ways downhill from here. Uh. Well, the good thing is the rope shouldn't snap, so... I am good to go. Here we go. Here we go. Well, that's actually a long way down. Q, Q. What's that? All right, I can attach a rope here now. Do I want to go this way though? Uh, actually, I'll come back here after. I think. Yeah, just over this ridge. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, this way. I remember this rock. Oh. You kids. Is that it? That bag's not here anymore, though. Let's see what they are doing. Alrighty. Uh, what? Where's the smoke? Oh, there. Oh, maybe I was supposed to go down that way. Down that gulch way? Maybe? Probably, yeah. Oh, frick. Uh, right. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back and then we'll just uh, go over here and <coughs> go over here. Okay, so now. Go over this way. Can I go up here though? I don't think I can. Okay, so I, yeah, I have to go down to where the that rope was. I'm like 99% sure. I'm into the music. It's like really weird, quiet. Okay, here we go. Oh, something's here. What does she have? She's got Alzheimer's, like um, dementia. Whoa, how old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's forty-three. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Devastating. 
Especially for her. You can understand. And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away, and that was it. Yeah. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. Oh, thanks, man. Alrighty, it's in here. One, two. Okay, whoops. Oops. There we go. Hell, this person. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a PTSD a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. She was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's, uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Yes, finally. Oh. Found one of their empties. Guess we're on the right track. Roger that. All right, so up we go. Uh, which way? Oh, okay. Maybe down this way. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Even those girls love a skinny dipping. I bet they're nearby. Okay, the beer can here. I'm gonna assume it's this way since the beer can was on this side of the water. So, well, actually, I don't know where the frick that smoke funnel is. Hmm. Hmm. to the south of here um mexico is this some sort of riddle i just have a nice view to the south you know trees and mountains forever well eventually you wander into the area overseen by chimney rock lookout but that's probably an impossible hike in terms of terrain oh. Oh, i saw a tower again Fine, fine. Oh, wait. Oh. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Oh. Maybe he's gonna find a dead body. Maybe. What do you think? Maybe. I see a campsite, and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? That seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down, and don't let them see you. What a job this is. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here, at their camp. Huh, pants are back. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, pants are back? Well, according to the experts at Teen Zone Magazine, it's unclear where they've been. 
The pants, I mean. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you... It's another one of those magazines. Huh? These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Okay, okay. That's done. Ooh. I don't get why the hunks have to be so dangerous. Well, you're clearly not a young woman. Girls should want nice hunks. Ugh, boring. Shit. Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a like a bear or um I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. Nice. I think one's fine. What's this? Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah. Let me know what it says. Uh... Do, 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 do. They're gone, for sure. Well, what's it say? Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? Look, I didn't do anything to them, but it looks like someone had it out for them. Then why do they think it's you? Fuck, I don't know. Huh. Hey, I don't. I believe you. Come on, Henry. All right. All right, it's just... It's Weird what happened out here. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know. But they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back. And we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too.